this is the reason why that video that I I don't know if I just posted it because I haven't posted it yet so maybe what by the time this one posts it's current that video will be currently uploading but I mentioned in that video about not doing to someone what they do to you related to relationships and I also mentioned the importance of absence when you're not being treated right and you know I got a message last night from God and the message was I can't live without you and he was advocating on someone's behalf okay so this is like a person that understands your value that understands who you are as a child of God and they also understand their love for you they understand their love for you and in the video that I'm uploading right now if it hasn't already been posted I mentioned that when you're not being treated right by a man or a woman the best thing you can do is remove yourself and let them fill your absence that's the best thing and not to give in not to be hot and cold with them and you know back and forth on this hamster wheel but literally sticking to your values and saying okay I'm done with you I'm done with you and removing yourself from the situation despite how much you love them right because eventually when they start to if they're not willing to change and they start to interact with other people and then they start to you know continue on their toxic ways they're gonna realize that there's no one really truly out there like you they're gonna realize they can't find anyone that's loyal especially with the types of men and women out uh, out here nowadays it's very hard to find a good person like i mentioned the other video so this will eventually be a revelation to them and i also mentioned in the other video that Uncle Tony Gaskins and Uncle R.C. Blake said the same thing. Like, when you're when you're a good woman and you remove yourself from someone that's not treating you right, your absence will, will let them know. And that will be the revelation they get as, if, as in if you're truly their wife or not. And that's usually when men actually start to reflect on their actions, the things that they do, and then they start moving towards God. Because it's like, man, like, what do I have to do to change to be a better person? Do you get what I'm saying? So I got this message last night and the message is I can't live without you. And this is someone that's realizing that it's going to be very hard to live without you. And they know that in order for them to live with you, they have to make some changes. But this person has received their revelation. And this is confirmation for whoever resonates with this. Okay? Okay. And I want to say something. Most women, they think, oh, I'm scared to distance myself because if I remove myself from the person, they may move on and find someone else. Can I tell you something? It's true. Yeah. It's not all men, but most of the times men will move on to avoid heartbreak, to avoid self-reflecting on what they just lost. But if you're their wife... No matter what, who, no matter who or when they move on or who they move on to, they won't be able to shake you off. They won't be able to shake you off. So even if he did move on or she moved on and it may look like they're over you, still keep your distance. Let them go out there and let them see what's in the world and let them realize they messed up. It's just that simple, especially if you're a good woman or a good man. It's very hard to find. Trust me, it's not going to take them long to realize that. Eventually, they're going to be forced to self-reflect and to realize what they have done if you are truly their wife or husband. That usually happens. And then don't let them back until they're actually changed. And how are you going to know they're changed? God is going to tell you. God is going to confirm to you. If you have that connection with the Holy Spirit, oh, he's going to tell you. He's going to tell you. So... And if it's not your husband, guess what? Like I said in the other video, you didn't lose out. You didn't lose out on anything. You didn't. You did not lose out on anything. You did, you did yourself a big favor, basically. 
anyways i love you guys this man this woman whoever the person is i just know god says i cannot live without you and this is he's advocating on someone's behalf someone is feeling like they can't live without you so this is this person has come to their senses they have come to their senses about you okay and i'm gonna also mention this this is a main key for men and women one of the biggest keys to valuing yourself and being able to not put yourself in a hamster wheel situation to where you're back and forth with toxicity celibacy once you are celibate and once you are celibate for a good amount of time in the beginning it's going to be hard you're going to be like oh man i'm so tempted etc etc but once you're celibate for a good amount of time as in like let's just say a year two years three years four years five years once you're celibate for a good amount of time it's not going to be hard to resist temptation and trust me you're going to be so careful as to who you even allow in your presence the clarity you're going to receive is going to be out of this world okay so anyways i love you guys i'll talk to you soon bye